Hey, hey, and welcome back to another episode of Hashtag Get Lit, where we crush your business in less than 10 minutes. I have my timer on here. If you have not seen my videos, welcome. So excited to have you. My name is Kimberly Olson, also known as the Gold Digger Girl. And today I'm going to show you my favorite Instagram story apps of 2019. We're going to cover three of my favorites right now. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over my three favorite apps. I'm gonna share my screen so that way we can look together and check this out. Okay, so let's head over to my phone. It's gonna take a second here. I'm just gonna pull this baby up. And one of the cool things is that what I'm gonna show you, I believe there are free versions for all of them. So hopefully we can get you rocking and rolling in no time. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go over to my, some of my apps here. So I'm gonna show you Mojo Story Art and I'm going to show you Story Swag. Okay, so we'll do Story Art first. So when I, what I love about Story Art is that I, I love how beautiful the backgrounds are. So they have all different kinds. So what I'll do is kind of take a look at the different themes they have, there's watercolor, paper, girlish. I mean, look how cute this is. And then if you click see all, it's going to show you all of the ones in the girlish category. Okay, so don't get overwhelmed by all the choices. But if we just pick girlish, you can just click this and then you can just drop and add a couple of images in there and you can just sort of resize them. So I'm going to show you a couple of my finished products so you can see what that looks like. So here are... Oh, I see. Okay. So this is kind of funny, but what's cool is instead of just posting um, picture after picture after picture, you can actually, if you have a day out with your family or maybe you go to an event, you can grab multiple images and put them in one story with some pretty background. It's just more eye catching. It makes you stand out and people are more likely to scroll through your stories when they're dynamic like that. So I use mostly for story art. I use it. I think this might be Let's see if we can view it. So they actually have some animation like this one. Isn't that cool? So Story Swag has static and it also has animation as well. So I like to use it for both of the different options uh, for what we've got going on here. So I think this is also another one you can kind of see. That's like a boomerang that I did. Thank you for listening to my podcast. Okay, so let's get out of there. Um, okay. So now we're gonna go over to Mojo. Mojo is more dynamic. So everything on Mojo is interactive. So I want to show you some of my stories I've done in here. So I'll just take a quote. So instead of putting a static quote in there, I will put the quote and then I'll put some, some text with it. So get out of your own way, girl boss quotes. So I'll just grab something off of Pinterest and I'll add some words to it. So this is a way to thank people and make it more dynamic. So I, I hit 30, 31,000 followers, wanted to thank people for that. Um, let me show you an example of some cool things you can do. This is really cool. So this one right here, the way the format was for the Mojo template is there was a picture at the top and then three in the bottom. So what I did is I put an inspirational quote and then I had pictures of me at the gym kind of deciding, should I go to the gym? Let's do it. And then I was like, yeah, I'm done. Right. So instead of just doing those normal images where you are at the gym, you can, you make it more interactive. So this, you just, there's a couple of photos in there that it grabs and I get comments all the time from people on, Hey, I, I saw your thing. I love it. And look at this. Isn't this cool? Look at that. So I just took a bunch of images from our day out and I put them in one of the, the templates that they have. So just go to templates. They have free this week. They have a pro version. I just have the free version. So just find the free ones and scroll through those. And then you can just put your pictures in there and they have all kinds of different categories too. And then the last one I wanted to show you is story swag. So I just did this one. So I have a Facebook live I just did on how to get more people to take a look at what you're doing. So look at how great this looks. I was able to edit new announce, a new announcement, a new masterclass announced. It just, I added some music to it in my story and it just, again, brings it to life. So they have different formats down here in the bottom. So story swag is pretty straightforward. So we'll go back and I'll kind of start over and show you what this looks like. So let's say we're going to pick a story here. You can choose up to eight images. So we'll just do, um, We'll just grab this one right here just to give you an example. So this one is not a story shape. So I'm going to go back to square. 
And then I'm going to just choose this image right here. If it lets me, it's not happy, but we're going to figure it out together. Okay. So look at all the cool different things you can do. You can move, you can move the font around. You can just say, Hey, you can change the font with clicking that up there at the top. You can change the color down here. Um, you can do filters, you can add music to it. And then I like that there's all these different styles. So you can just find one that you like. And so it's just a good, cool way to showcase or highlight some fun things going on, okay, that you have. And you can make it smaller. You can kind of move that to the side. Oh, I know you can move it. I'm just not able to do that for some reason right now, but whatever. And then you can click preview and you can see what it looks like. Hey, <laughs> it's not the most dynamic story you ever saw, but there you go. So the three that I mentioned, I will actually link below in the comments. So what I want you to do is I want to share you to share with me your favorite stories, Instagram story apps you use to edit your stories where you can really animate them and make them really stand out. So put any others that you love. There are lots of them out there. Those are just the three that I tend to use over and over and over again. You can also go into the app store and just search Instagram story editor and you will see all kinds of choices. There's always new ones coming out. Play around with it a little bit. You know, there's there's more advanced ones that I just couldn't, couldn't figure out. So I just move on. So if you can't figure it out, you're, you're just like, ah, then just move on and pick a different one, no worries. And then obviously, if you like this video, I hope you do give it a thumbs up, comment, that's gonna help it get the word out. And then click the subscribe button. When you do that, it's actually, you will, you hit that bell. When you subscribe, you will get notified every time I have a new video and I put out a couple each week. So you don't want to miss any of them because we get lit, hashtag get lit in less than 10 minutes. So I'm going to always give you something actionable you can implement right away. So your homework is download those three, play around with them, pick at least one. And I want you to create a story. I want you to post it on Instagram or Facebook and tag me. If you tag me on Instagram, it's the gold digger girl, G O A L. And I'll put the link below for my Instagram profile. If you tag me on Facebook, we probably have to be Facebook friends, but feel free to send it my way. I would love to see that shout out. So I hope this is helpful until next time, go out there and crush your goals and create the life of your dreams. Bye-bye.